Hello students, welcome back to my channel once again. So this video I am going to explain another topic under bioinorganic chemistry. If you remember, we started bioinorganic chemistry and completed various topics like uh, uh, biological significance of sodium, potassium, chlorine, iron, zinc and recently I completed cobalt and nickel okay so this is the unit which is in uh, bsc second year semester 4 students okay so those who are all studying bsc second year okay you can kindly note down these topics in your notebooks and also students i sincerely request you to like the video share with your friends and whoever is watching for the first time please subscribe the channel Okay, so this video I am going to explain biological importance of magnesium and calcium. Okay, so please put the side heading biological importance of Mg plus 2 and Ca plus 2 ions. Ready students? Okay, so what all we learn about uh, magnesium and calcium? Okay, their functions. Fine. Okay, ready? So, magnesium and calcium students, they are the most important elements in human body. They are responsible for various biological processes taking place in the body. Okay, and um, you know students, this the biological significance of this magnesium and calcium is not only limited to humans, but they are uh, very, very important in plants too okay so that you will be writing in the introduction and also students you know the magnesium and calcium ions they play a very important role in the biological reactions as you know plants absorbing light uh, for, uh, for photosynthesis and you know this takes place in the presence of chlorophyll and chlorophyll uh, mainly contains magnesium Okay, and also calcium is very, very important component of, uh, you know, students' bones, teeth uh, and also horns of uh, animals. Not only these students, many enzyme reactions, uh, they are controlled by this uh, calcium and magnesium ions. Okay, so this is all the introductory part that you will be writing under biological significance of magnesium and calcium. Okay, so just I will read out uh, what you have to write in your notebook students. Please have a glance. Magnesium and calcium are the essential elements, essential elements in human body in human body affecting numerous processes numerous processes in the body numerous processes in the body full stop the biological significance of the biological significance of magnesium and calcium Magnesium and calcium is not limited to humans, is not limited to humans, but plants too, but plants too, full stop. Will you write down, Mg plus 2 and Ca plus 2 ions, Mg plus 2 and Ca plus 2 ions play an important role play an important role in biological reactions in biological reactions full stop next plants absorb light plants absorb light from sun from sun for photosynthesis for photosynthesis in the presence of in the presence of chlorophyll which contains magnesium 
which contains magnesium. Full stop. Next. Below right. Calcium as its phosphate is an essential constituent of bones, bones, teeth, teeth and and horns of animals and horns of animals. Full stop. Below. Many enzyme reactions, many enzyme reactions are controlled by are controlled by both Ca plus 2 and Mg plus 2 ions. Okay. So, this is the introduction under biological significance of Mg plus 2 and Ca plus 2 ions. So, after introduction, we are supposed to know about the functioning part of Mg plus 2 and Ca plus 2. So, put the side heading students, functions. Functions. So, first we will know about magnesium, then next we will know about calcium. So, under functions, as we have seen already, the main pigment which is responsible for photosynthesis in plants, that is chlorophyll, contains magnesium. Okay. So, this we have seen already in the introductory part. Please write down students, the main pigment which is responsible for photosynthesis in plants, in plants, Comma, that is chlorophyll, chlorophyll contains magnesium, magnesium, full stop, below write down, magnesium plays an important role, plays an important role in many biochemical reactions, in many biochemical reactions, which are catalyzed by enzymes which are catalyzed by enzymes. Okay, students. So, you have understood uh, magnesium responsible for photosynthesis, for uh, responsible for uh, the enzymatic uh, or enzyme catalyzed biochemical reactions. Next, magnesium is the cofactor of all enzymes Magnesium is the cofactor of all enzymes which utilize which utilize ATP. You know what ATP is, no students? ATP in phosphate transfer, in phosphate transfer and also energy release. In phosphate transfer and energy release. Full stop. It is next. Below write down. It is also used in. It is also used in electrolytic balance. Or balancing electrolytes in human body. Balancing electrolytes in human body. Full stop. Next. Magnesium is responsible. Magnesium is responsible for stability and proper functioning of DNA. And proper functioning of DNA. Proper functioning of DNA. Full stop. Suppose if magnesium is deficient. Okay. What happens? So that also we will mention students. Its deficiency leads to convulsion and neuromuscular irritation leads to convuls convulsion and neuromuscular irritation. So, these are the points which are to be written under functions of magnesium students. Okay. So, after magnesium, uh, write down calcium students. We will now write down the points under calcium as we have seen already, calcium is the major component of bones and teeth. Major component of bones and teeth. And the calcium uh, Ca plus 2 ions 
what are they required for what are the essential for they are essential for the maintenance of regular heartbeat they are required to maintain normal heartbeat next they are also essential they are also essential to trigger contraction of muscles to trigger contraction of muscles and also to stabilize uh, here i have written in stabilization of protein structures in the stabilization of protein structures full stop they are also important in blood clotting you know students if calcium is deficient blood takes long time to clot that we will write under deficiency okay so ca plus 2 ions are important in blood clotting next what happens if ca plus 2 ions are in excess excess ca plus 2 ions you must be knowing they form stones in the body they form stones in the body and also deficiency of calcium in blood causes causes it to take long time to clot take long time to clot okay so these are the points which are to be written under calcium students okay so this is all about uh, magnesium and calcium the introductory part and also functioning of magnesium calcium students okay so these are the points which are to be written under this topic okay so please kindly uh, watch the video carefully note down all the points in your notebook please like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel students once again i am requesting you this is all for today and meet you in the next video with a new topic students take care